So this is this is HTC Flyer, okay? So it's new to Mobile World Congress, we just announced it. HTC Flyer is our first seven inch tablet. Just to start, start, start you off with the specs of the design, um, it's a um, unibody finish, so it's precision cut aluminium with all the components slid into it to give it that real premium feel. Um, what you'll notice as well is that you've got your speaker, you have a 5 megapixel camera on the back, it's joined by a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. Obviously your power off, uh, on and off button, your 35 mm jack plug on top for your favourite earphones. You have a um, the charging port on the bottom which is proprietary, it's using MA, uh, uh, sorry, MHL technology. So when you actually plug the charger in, um, obviously it charges at a faster rate. We also have an optional extra which we can plug in the bottom of it which gives it HDMI out and allows it to charge at the same time as giving that HDMI out. So, going into the main, uh, the, the main part about the uh, device, you have four buttons along the bottom, just here. One of them is a slightly different colour, which is a pen. So I'll come back to this in a second, but with the tablet you do get a pen. It is not a prerequisite to actually use the pen with it, you don't need to have the, the, the pen. Okay? You can use your fingers on the screen, it is, it is fully touch. It's got six points of contacts on the screen and an extra one for the pen, specifically written software for this, I'll show that in a second. If you do turn the device, you'll notice that the buttons now become on the bottom of the screen as well. So they reorder with it. Okay. I just move that up. Now, this is running um, Android uh, Gingerbread um, with the Sense tablet experience. Now, it's running a, also a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon processor from Qualcomm. It has 32 gig of internal memory. It also has an expansion slot, micro, uh, micro SD, um, to expand another 32 gig. Okay, you have your Wi-Fi, you have your Bluetooth 3.0 inside of there as well. You also have uh, 3G signal as well for your data. So, going into the experience, I'm keen to know actually that the, uh, the sense experience that you have on a, uh, on a handset that we have developed, this has been developed from the ground up with tablets in mind, okay? So, one of the cool little features that we now have inside of it is that I just kind of tilt this up. Um, the widgets that we have are now 3D widgets. So, if I start to tilt the device, you'll see that the widgets actually pop out. You get to see the mechanisms behind the clock in this instance. If I tilt that there. If I go across to my music, my music buttons actually pop out the screen if you start to tilt it. If I tilt it back. What's the user experience benefit of that feature? I'm sorry? What's the user interface or user experience benefit of that feature? It looks cool. Okay, cool. I can. It's, it's the little, yeah, exactly, I can be. You know, it's those little features. It's just something that we're kind of showing off to you at the moment. If you actually, no problem. Um, if you want a bit more eye candy, I'm now going to start to talk you a little bit through the new technology that we've got with it. So like we said before, you've still got a capacitive display on here where you can use up to six points of contact. So you can use your fingers, you can still swipe around, pitch the zoom and that sort of thing. Um, but we've now introduced the pen. So um, this is a new piece of technology that we've actually written on the tablet to react with the pen. So on the bottom of the, um, on the tablet, you do have your little pen icon. You'll also know that when you actually press the pen icon, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't react to touch. It only reacts to the pen, so you can't accidentally press it. Okay? Now, the pen, whatever screen that you're on at the moment, so be it um, this screen here, or maybe you're on the internet, maybe it's something that you've seen that you want to share with someone. If you tap the screen with the pen, what it'll do is it'll make a snapshot of whatever screen that you're currently on, and then you can use the pen to draw on it, to circle things, to highlight. So, for example, um, I'll try and do this, but I've got very bad writing upside down. I've just put a very small hello inside of there with a very thin nib. You can't see that, so what I'm going to do now is if I tap my pen icon, I've now got different types of nibs, different types of sizes, different types of colours. Okay, so if I just change that for a second, so I want to go big, I want to um, go on a highlighter, and I want to go with a bright yellow, then maybe you can now see. Okay, you'll also notice that there's two buttons on the pen. One of those buttons allows you to erase. Okay? The other button, come back to in a second. 
So obviously you can tap the screen, you can take a snapshot wherever you are. On the bottom of the screen what will happen is that when you're taking a snapshot... Is the pen connected with your back tooth? Uh, no. no, it's got a battery inside of it so it's just a charge. Um, when you tap it, you'll notice that when you actually start to write and everything, you can save that, so it'll go into your gallery, so then you can share it with people. You've also got share via, okay? If you tap on share via, you'll be able to send that via Bluetooth, via email to someone, via text message, via Facebook, if you want to. You've also got discard, so obviously, uh, discard mate, and you've got print as a final option. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go into the other side of it. So, we've kind of thought about, okay, it's cool, you can do, what else can you do? The other part about it is that it's integrated with Evernote. So if anyone's not, um, not um, familiar with Evernote, Evernote is a service where you're able to take a note on a device, it will automatically back up to the cloud, and then you're able to then pull that note down onto whatever device, whether it be a PC or a different handset. So if I So, it's opened a note up now, so if I tap the screen, it gives me the keyboard to physically type on the screen, okay? Now, um, if I tap on with the pen, press back, if I tap on with the pen, it then gives me my highlighters again. So, again, if I go down to the smallest nib, maybe the pen this time, and then maybe in black, take a note, but we've actually extended that further. We have a thing called um, a time mark. Now, there's a, for the eagle eye of you, you'll notice there's a little record button on the top. So obviously if someone's giving a speech or maybe a, a call, if you tap the actual record button, it'll actually start to record whatever that person's saying or maybe the speech is being given. So I can then write a note or a doodle. And what it'll do is it'll remember at what point in that speech that doodle was done. So if I stop recording right now, okay, and then play it, what will happen is it'll start to play back the recording. When it gets to the point where I actually did something, it will then pop up to let me know that that note was written at that time. So if you get back and don't know why you've written that note, you can't remember why, when you play it back, it will actually do the notes in sequence for you. Okay? So, what I didn't show you a minute ago was, and I'll go back to it, is the ability to find something. Can you tell how many notes we've actually done today? Let's see if we've got any text. That's a snapshot. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just write some words. Okay, so... show you now is basically what the other button did. So I said that it did cut copy paste. So if I hold down the other button, what it allow me to do is select things. So it will allow me to select text. So you've got your copy, your cut, your highlights on there as well. So if you are doing doodles, if you're on the internet or if you've uh, taken a snapshot of the internet, you're able to highlight certain things and then send it on via an email, via um, Bluetooth, via Facebook. Like I said, the pen is not a prerequisite. You don't have to use the pen with the device, but if you are looking at note-taking, looking at doing doodles, tapping the screen to actually annotate something and send it off, then you can. Will the pen be sold separately or will it come with it? The pen will come with the device, um, and then if you choose to use it, it's completely up to yourself. Okay. Um, obviously, we've got two other services that we're actually launching with this as well. One of them is HTC Watch. Watch service allows you to uh, download trailers, but also buy movies. So obviously if you're here in Barcelona, you've got a long uh, plane ride back home, you're able to download stuff um, and, and watch them on the fly. So, Is it. there a streaming option or it's only download? Um, as far as I'm aware, I think it's downloads, but I'll, uh, I'll double check on that one for you. Um, the other option that you've actually got is um, we've done a, uh, a partnership with um, a games company called OnLive. 
So if anyone's heard on live, basically with this, we can link to on live and actually stream really high quality games content. So sort of things like virtual tennis, um, Batman Arkham Asylum. The great thing about that though is that it's not just limited to this. Because the device has DLNA, if you have a DLNA enabled TV, it will allow it to share it to the TV and you can use this as a controller. If you want to, you could use this as a games console, put it to one side, you can actually buy a separate joypad if you want to, or a games controller, and actually sit there and have a full gaming experience. If your TV doesn't have DLNA, we've also thought of that as well, because you can actually buy a DLNA adapter which will adapt to your existing TV through HDMI. That's HTC Flyer. Is there any word on regional availability? At the moment, to do with pricing and regions, nothing's been confirmed. And the only thing to say is that uh, we're watching quarter two. So Q2. Q2. Okay. We have to use a special style of pen.